Hi everyone, in this short video I'm going to introduce you the, another programming language for the PSs which is called SFC or Sequential Function Chart. A sequential Function Chart is basically a graphical chart which contains uh, the steps as the main elements, the transition between the steps and also the actions which can be taken along with, with the steps during the step, whenever you enter the step, or whenever you exit the steps. Uh, there are a lot to discuss and to explain about the actions, how you can uh, declare the action, determine the actions, actually. Uh, there are different kinds of actions, when to take different actions uh, whenever you enter the step, for example, or whenever, to, you, whenever you exit the step, and so on and so forth. And there are a lot to talk about the configuration of the SFC as well. So you, you can create parallel branches or different branches uh, for a chart, and so on and so forth. But the aim of this video is not to go into the details of the SFC. However, I'm going to introduce you how you can build the simplest, uh, let's say, the SFC program for the PS. For doing that, I'm going to create a new project. So here I determine the name for the project, the location, and then it's and it's a standard project. Click on OK. Uh, I'm going to save whatever I had already for the old project. Uh, OK, I'm going to overwrite it. So here, in the programming language section, I'm going to select the SFC sequential function chart and for the device you don't care if you are in the simulation mode if you are not in the simulation mode you need to select the device that you are working with. okay clicking on the okay uh, I will see the project tree here and now if I double click on the PLC underline PRG the main program that I have here you will see the main uh, window let's see so again here is the uh, location for declaring the variables and here is the environment in which we are going to develop the code. So you can see that you initially have one init which is this step, this one, and here you ha we have one transition which is by default true and here we have a jump. So this is the jump and this is a label to the step which is in it. So if, if you run this it will be continuously jumping from the end of the the program to the step and th there's nothing to do actually here but we are going to modify it and create uh, the program that we would like so before going forward let's set the online mode to the simulation and let's uh, add a visualization to our project so what I want to do here is that I'm going to place one switch which can be turned on or off and one pilot lamp and I'm going to determine the state of the pilot lamp based on the the start push button let's say if the start push button has true value then the pilot lamp should be turned on and off sequentially let's say for one, one second each time if the start push button is false then the pilot lamp will be turned off it will not be turned on uh, one more thing that we need to do here for this version of the this is, is to go to the properties of the application and in the build tab we need to write down visual exception handling this is due to the due to a bug that, that there is with the latest version of the car this is I hope they will uh, fix this in the next versions so let's go back here I'm going to declare a variable start db as the boolean and uh, okay I think my caps on is turned on let's do it again start db and then pl as another boolean variable and now it's the point in which we are going to start the process so here after the init I click on the uh, I click on the init state and then you can uh, look here in the toolbar that I can insert a step transition 
or I can insert the step transition after. So if I select this one, you can see here that there is a transition which is called trans0 right now. I'm going to modify it and there is a step which is called the step 0 by default. So I'm going to change the, the name for this step to on its state. And I'm going to add another step and call it state. As I told you, I want to start the process whenever the start push button is pressed or the value for the start PB is true. So here for the transition after the initialization, after the init step, I will use the start PB. So the value of start PB will be checked. If it is true, then the transition from init to on state will happen. If not, the execution of the program will be remained in the init state. Then from on state to off state, I need to determine another uh, transition condition. I will do it later. But for now, uh, let me introduce you how to create uh, the actions for a given step. So here in the on, on state, I want to turn on the pilot lamp. Whenever I enter the state, I want to turn on the pilot lamp. So I can just right click on it and select the add entry action. You can find it in the toolbar as well. But for now, I just select it from here. So it, it's by default, it's called on state entry. You can change it if you wish. I'm going to keep it like that. And here we can select the language for the implementation, any of the standard languages. Uh, to make it simple, I'm going to use the ladder logic for now. All right. And so here, I want to turn on the pilot time. I can insert the coil connect it to the line and then determine the variable SPL so it will be turned on automatically and then I can close this then in the, the transition since I want to have the pilot the pilot and turned on for let's say one second I can do it in this way so I want to have the transition Whenever I we have the on state at t, t is the time in which we have been inside the the state is bigger than one second. So if the if the time in which we have spent inside the on state is bigger than one second, the transition will happen, and then we will go to the next. Uh, state. For the next state, I'm going to determine another entry action for this with the ladder logic and in, in this case I'm going to turn off the pilot lamp. So here we will have PL and for this I will have the negated coil. Alright, so yeah, and then I want to have the pilot lamp turned off for another one second. So here in stock two I will write office state that key bigger than one second. If this is the case then the transition will happen and then the execution will jump to the init and then the process will start again. Uh, so here pay attention that the actions that I have determined here I have uh, developed all of them have appeared here. So in the PSC underline PRG you can see that they are kind of uh, the actions which are developed and used inside this uh, this program. Okay so that, that's it for the program. Just in the visualization we need to insert a switch and assign the variable for the switch as the as the start PB. Then I'm going to insert a pilot lamp and the variable for that will be the PF. Okay, so the program looks fine. The only thing that we need to do is to log in. 
compile the code, log in, and then uh, run the project. All right, so and here we have the visualization. I just put it over there. So here in the runtime, you can see that the value for the start push button is false. The pilot temp is turned off. That, that's true. And here you, you, you can see different states. So we are initially in the init state. That's why it's highlighted with the below. And then the others are in gray because we, we haven't entered them. Here beside the the state, you can see the time in which we have been inside the state. So it's zero millisecond for the on state and for the off state as well. If I turn, if I change the state of the start push button from false to true, you see that we entered this state, and then the transition between different states is happening. And each time that we enter a state, the time in which we have been inside the the state starts from zero and it goes up to one. 1,000 milliseconds or one second. So that's why we have the pilot time here flashing. But if I uh, just change the state of the start push button from, from true to false, then we will, we will stay inside the init state. And here you can see that the amount of time that we have been inside the, the state. All right, so for, for this very simple uh, let's say example that's all that you need to do to have a flashing pilot lamp controlled by the by a switch uh, however as I already told you there are a lot to discuss and explain about the SFC uh, PSC programming I will do it later by in the next videos but for now that's all thank you for watching uh, let me know if you have any suggestions or comments and if you feel that the video could be useful for someone else, uh, then don't hesitate to share it. Thanks again, and see you next time.